Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool or Nintem Bruce here, back again with another vlog. And it, this is mainly to kind of prove that I'm still around. <laughs> um, I know it's been two months since my last video practically, but you know what, there have been reasons for that and I'll take things one at a time. The, the main reason for this video is not only is it just before Christmas, uh, to wish you all a Merry Christmas anyway, but yeah, it, it's kind of to prove in a way that I'm still going to be doing videos, but on different terms to the norm, and I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. So let's start with, I guess, the break I've been having recently. In fact, let's take a, a little trip down memory lane with the other vlog video. I did mention that I was kind of going to be slowing down a little bit and still releasing videos and don't worry, I'm still here, etc, etc. And then what do I go and do? Not release a single thing after that. Not even comment back to people, which I do feel bad about. But, oops, I do apologise for that. That was my uh, phone going off, if you felt that through the microphone. Felt slash heard, anyway. Um, but where was I? Yeah, so not commenting to people, and that is very unlike me, but I've had a lot of stuff going on in the last few months. Um, and, you know, when stepping back and taking a bird's eye view of things, YouTube is definitely not top priority at the moment. I've just been needing to relax, uh, deal with certain issues, um, and in general not go insane. That, that tends to kind of go well with the crowd. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. And by the way, there might be a few ums and ahs there because I've, uh, I'm doing this video off the cuff, you know. I haven't really prepared for this video. Just kind of thought, what do I want to say? Let's just, you know, commentate. No, I'm not even commentating, see? I, I told you this isn't, um, and there's another um as well. God damn it, English. Okay, right, stop it, Bruce. Stop digging yourself a hole. Anyway, so. I'm going to be doing this off the cuff as I go along, just highlighting certain issues. Some of, some of it might not make sense, but I'll try and make the best of it. Anyway, as I was saying, YouTube has been bottom of the rung for a little while, hence the lack of interactivity, and I do feel bad about it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, because gaming-wise, when I release videos, as you guys who have been following me for a while know, I always release videos in blocks, so there's something for everyone, uh, and I know that people who have subscribed to me would be happy. Problem is, there's certain features that I'm kind of not willing to pay to do, or have the time to do at the moment. Um, I'll explain a bit more of that uh, in a bit. And at the same time, I've had videos in my queue for a little while to release, and by little while I mean two months and just been waiting to fill up the holes before I release the videos. So I'm thinking, when I get a small batch of videos, I'll just release them. Uh, things like glitches and stuff, I found quite a few already. Um, and yeah, I just want you guys to enjoy it. The holes at the moment, Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of them. Mainly because I just haven't had the time to strategize like I usually do. Um, as well as my Xbox Live subscribing. Uh, subscribing? My Xbox Live doesn't subscribe to anything. My Xbox Live subscription expiring. And with that, this is where I take a step back and thought, what do I really use it for? What am I going to do? Am I going to spend 30 slash 40 pound? Oh, cats, stop it. Sorry, they tend to fight. One of them thinks the other one's playing, but the other one really doesn't like it. Anyway, um, yeah, what do I use my Xbox Live subscription for? I play Yu-Gi-Oh! online with friends. Sometimes I play certain other arcade games on a very rare occasion with the public. And that's it. Sure, I could still use my Xbox with other boxed games. You know, I can do that no problem. But that doesn't rely on an Xbox Live subscription. And although there's the good old Games with Gold, I haven't touched a single one I've downloaded, apart from, I think, Char uh, Charlie Murder, and that's about it. So, yeah, for the moment, I'm not prepared to pay for Xbox Live and pump out any Millennium Jewels content, unless it's, say, against the computer, which isn't as exciting, and I'm not sure if it'll give a good true experience of the decks that I do create when I get to create them. 
One thing I'm going to do, uh, regardless, maybe against a computer player, uh, I was halfway through a deck tryout recipe and I had actually created something but then just kind of let it linger in the background and now I can't use it against human players. So something I might do is I'll either do that against a computer player or I'll try and convert it into Dev Pro, although the ban lists are completely different. And so for the future, I might start doing a lot more on Dev Pro, even if I do play on Millennium Jewels just to try out other people's suggestions. So that will be interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to touch Yu-Gi-Oh for a little bit. That is one of my holes. Same with Pokemon, although it's easier to edit and record and stuff. Um, I'm just not sure if it's worth the time currently. Not while I'm kind of associating it with effort at the moment. Like anything taking effort, I've just become super lazy. Um, I mean, Pokemon editing doesn't even do that much, you know? You just edit out the pauses in things and that's about it. And maybe come up with a good team occasionally. Um, but yeah, I've just been kind of staying away from that mainstream stuff and been doing other things like streaming Pac-Man Championship Edition DX Plus, uh, her tofu boyfriend, um, what else have I been doing? A bit of Steamworld Dig, cats get out of the way on the microphone, um, yeah, all sorts of things which have been making me happy and I don't mean this to sound some sort of realisation or selfish attitude but I've just been relaxing and playing the games that I've wanted to do. Um, been getting good at certain things as well, like again Pac-Man Championship Edition DX Plus. Uh, been playing Steamworld Dig as well. Highly recommend that game. Depending how you play it, it is short, but there is replayability, especially if you're going to do speed runs or go for achievements and things like that. Um, and yeah, it, it, again, it's been doing things that I've wanted to do. Um, there'll probably be a few more streams, which whether they be on Twitch or on the new uh, Steam beta, I forget what they actually call it, it might just be called Steam Recorder or where, something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, for those of you that have Steam and want to add me as a friend, just send me a request, um, I'll accept you, and whatever I'm playing at the time, you can just enjoy, you know? So yeah, that's what I've been doing lately, streaming is a hell of a lot easier. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh yeah, out of all things, you know, board slash card games I've been getting into, and I don't mean Yu-Gi-Oh. There was a few weeks ago a time where my other half and I went to our next door neighbours and just had a board game night, and it was so good. I forgot how, you know, strategic or weird and wacky those things can be, and random. And when coming back, my other half and I just thought, oh, perhaps we should get some board games, because all we've got is the obligatory Monopoly and Scrabble, and then I think Upwards, and that's about it. And something caught my eye, and I heard about it from my neighbour as well, called Boss Monster. Absolutely amazing game, I find. Easy to pick up, and uh, as always, difficult to master. Cat, stop moving things you're not supposed to. Um, and yeah, Boss Monster, for those of you that haven't heard of it, you are an 8-bit villain um, creating your own dungeons, your own side-scrolling adventure for heroes to attract them and to kill them. And the idea is the boss monster with the most souls and isn't dead wins. Um, and yeah, and it's just so good. I heavily recommend it, especially if you get friends around your house, don't know what to do, crack out boss monster. So, so good. Um, and on that front, boss monster has been received so well that people have been requesting an actual um, game version of it which is coming to PC and other platforms so that's something I'm gonna get into in the future because that's easy for me to do um, and it's something different for the channel still involves strategy it's got game references all over the place on it um, especially that guy from the ghost and goblins that night Arthur um, you'll, you'll just have to see it to get what I'm on about but yeah, Boss Monster, I heavily suggest it guys, and the game itself, um, the game itself, the video game version of it is coming out January slash February of 2015, so really, really close. Um, so yeah, that's something I suggest to you guys. Uh, there's also Munchkin uh, that we've uh, bought, that's another good game. 
good but very, very random. Uh, sometimes doesn't rely on any strategy at all. Um, and there'll be other things that we're going to buy. Um, I mean, going back to Boss Monster, the box alone is worth buying. It's shaped in an old Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge box. You know, the black with the uh, title kind of sloped upwards on the front and uh, with a little picture of what's kind of going on with the game. Um, and the expansion pack to it as well. It's a Game Boy Color box. It's great. Absolutely amazing. In fact, I don't think it's even color. I think it's normal Game Boy. So there we go. That's my uh, two cents on card games, like actual card games. Do it. It makes you a bit more sociable. Um, what else has been going on? I kind of forgot where I was leading with this, really. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. I've been playing a lot more on Steam and on my PC because of the whole Xbox Live expiring and not really having a need for it, and especially with the discounts on games at the moment, especially through Steam and uh, certain other places. It just makes sense for me to almost wholly convert onto PC, because a lot of stuff is multi-platform anyway, um, like Deus Ex, uh, Lara Croft, Team Raider, and uh, all sorts of other bits, Pac-Man Championship Edition of course. Um, so yeah, I might be just transferring completely to Steam, and again, I'm open to friend requests, open to chats and stuff, and you guys can send me messages and hopefully I'll be answering. <laughs> So, I think I've kind of covered what I've wanted to go. I've been rambling for a little while now, but to summarise, you know, life has been getting in the way and I have to prioritise. Um, YouTube releases will be of things that I just kind of get mini groups together of and then release. Um, I'll still be doing tutorials of certain things. I haven't covered that, but I will be. Um, have I covered Hearthstone or Hearthstone? I don't think I have. Um, I haven't played it yet, but there's been a lot of comments on my last vlog asking me to play that. Um, and by a lot, I think I mean two, but that's only got like five comments on it anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be getting myself into that, maybe do some recording and see what I can create, and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, we'll see how well that's received. So, on that front, you know, pop your comments and thoughts in the section below. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a great Christmas. I mean, what is it, six days from now when I'm speaking. And, uh, yeah, just hopefully you all get what you deserve. I wish you the best. And hopefully get to speak to you again very soon. Take care of yourselves.